You've trusted me with your childhood, and I thank you for that. Ha! Move over, Butch Fartman. Let's talk about who really created your childhood. James Baxter. Yes, the character animator for Ariel, Rafiki, Quasimodo, Moses, Tulio, Spirit. This man has much more of a claim to creating your childhood. I actually hadn't even heard of who James Baxter was until recently, and from what I understand, a lot of people hadn't. James Baxter is an outstanding animator, like, amazing. I could only dream of being half the animator he is in my lifetime, but for all his talent, he mostly goes unrecognized. Now, there isn't a whole lot of information about him here on the internet, aside from what he worked on. Maybe that's the way he likes it, but guys, he has a YouTube and a Tumblr, go check those out! His most recent work is from the Steven Universe special Change Your Mind, where he animates literally the most beautiful sequence in the entire show. I want to talk about this clip for a second. Not only is the animation in it just overall phenomenal, but look at White Diamond here. When I saw this, along with most people I would assume, thought this was a 3D model. It looks like one, the way it moves is too smooth to be hand drawn, right? At least. Whenever I see animation this fluid in a TV show, it's almost always a 3D model swapped in. But let me tell you, I have never been more happy to be wrong. James Baxter posted the pencil test to his YouTube, proving indeed that White Diamond was hand-drawn! That was a mesmerizing moment for me, because one of my biggest frustrations is that hand-drawn animation seems to be inferior to 3D in the regard of changing perspective like this. But this right here, this is proof that hand-drawn animation can be just as fluid when changing perspective, and it's beautiful. So this clip is what introduced me to James Baxter, but I realized I'd been watching his animations my whole life. Baxter started out as a Disney animator in Who Framed Roger Rabbit, then went on to animate Ariel and Little Mermaid, several characters in The Rescuers Down Under, Belle and Beauty and the Beast, Rafiki and the Lion King, and Quasimodo in The Hunchback of Notre Dame. But his work doesn't stop at Disney. After the release of The Hunchback of Notre Dame, he moved over to DreamWorks and animated Moses in The Prince of Egypt, Tulio in The Road to El Dorado, Spirit in Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron, and worked as a supervising animator on Shrek 2 and Madagascar. My all-time favorite movie to this day is still Spirit. The first time I watched it I was like five or so and I just started crying because I thought Spirit was such an amazing horse and that there was never going to be a horse like him in real life. And that is a true story, I would not lie to you. After that he moved on to start his own animation studio, but it was short-lived. And honestly, to me, that sucks. This is an example of how it's so hard to compete with Disney and DreamWorks. They're giants in the industry. Most small animation studios don't stay in business for more than five years or so. In the case of James Baxter animation, it wasn't even that. Baxter went back to DreamWorks after that, but by that time, in 2008, DreamWorks had moved on to 3D animation. He did, however, do some really good work on How to Train Your Dragon, most notably, and a few other films. Recently, however, he's managed to keep relevancy by being a guest animator on TV shows. I didn't know until I started researching that he did part of the opening sequence for Gravity Falls, but now that I look at it, no wonder it was so smooth. He also had two special episodes of Adventure Time dedicated to the horse James Baxter. Yeah, the horse wasn't just named that randomly. And he was a guest animator on Regular Show and Samurai Jack and Steven Universe, as previously mentioned. I just really think that James Baxter deserves more credit than he gets. Most people have never even heard of him. The guy's won two Annies. No, but seriously, he's an amazing inspiration. I would look up his work if you're into animation, and even if you're not, definitely check out his demo reel on his YouTube channel. You will feel emotional after that, I promise. But that's where I'm gonna end this video, so thank you guys for watching. I just really wanted to talk about James Baxter because I think he's really important in just Disney Renaissance. Like, he's just done so much beautiful animation, and he just really needs to be appreciated. I don't know, that's just how I feel. But thank you guys for watching and listening to this. Um, please make sure to like and subscribe, all that stuff everyone tells you to do at the end of every video. But also, please, please check out James Baxter's YouTube and his Tumblr. They're really cool. He posts a lot of pencil animation tests on there, and they look, it's just really cool, I think. So yeah, that's that's it for me. Uh, peace out. See ya.